Hi, I'm Rachel. And so am I. And welcome to Fun Day Sunday, Sunday Kids. Kids. the names of God and we are now going into a time called Lent. Yes. Rach. Yes. What's Lent? Well, Lent is a time period where we are leading up to Easter. It's 40 days and 40 nights, leading up, not including Sundays, I don't think. Leading up to Easter Sunday. It is a time where we might be getting excited for chocolate, but for us Christians, it is also a yes. time Let's be where we are preparing ourselves to remind ourselves of everything that Jesus did on mm. Easter Sunday, which yeah. we'll get to. And so actually, there's lots of different ways that we can do that, that we can help ourselves prepare ourselves for Easter and to think about all that Jesus has done. And so each week, we are going to be looking at... Uh, and one of these things. Yeah, we're going to explore it and tell you a story and talk about it and pray about it. It's going to be loads yeah. of fun. And there's going to be a challenge every week yes. for us to do, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. So you guys are going to get some homework this time. Yes. So I hope that you enjoy this uh, Lent period and enjoy these Lent Fun Day Sunday Kids. But first, I think we're starting with something fun, aren't we? Yeah. Exciting. So we have got Donuts. Ooh, donuts. And we have got pasta MC. Oh yeah, jam donuts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking forward to um, the, to eating a donut? Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. The only thing is we're gonna do it where we're not allowed to lick our lips. And it's harder than it sounds. It really oh. is. Because there is a lot of sugar. I don't know if you can see that, but look how much sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost. Oh. So, would you like to take a donut? Oh, still I get pinchy. Okay. Would you like a donut? Okay. Hannah, yeah. you can have one of these afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drop these down. down. Ooh, yeah. MC's licking his lips already. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pre licking. Oh, water in. Okay, so, Hannah, you've got to look out for us to not lick our lips. Are we ready? Ready? Yeah. I will see. Go. Go. I already want it. It was impossible to not use my mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, not mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can't taste that one. You just can't lick it. Yay! Oh, my very last 
spineful. I got. I did a very slight lick of the lips. Oh, no. it's impossible. Oh, MC just forgot what we were doing. Yeah. Just enjoying the donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now, you guys at home should definitely try this out. Maybe if you are fasting, don't do it on the day that you're fasting. <laughs> um, but you should definitely try this at home because it's really hard and fun, but you also get to eat a donut. Mm. And us, send us your picture. Yeah, yeah you. of your sugar lips. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. After Moses had led the Israelites out into safety from the Egyptians, they came to a wide open space with a big mountain. Moses went up to the top of the mountain to spend some time with God. When he was up there, he stayed up there for 40 days and 40 nights. And he received from God the Ten Commandments. They were written down on stone and he head, headed back down to the Israelites. And when he found them, he said to them, I went up onto the mountain to receive the stone tablets. The tablets were the agreement the Lord had made with you. I stayed on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. I did not eat bread and I did not drink water because I was fasting. The Lord gave me the two stone tablets. God had written on them with his own finger. On them were all the commandments of the Lord. He gave them to you on the mountain out of the fire. This was the day you were gathered there. Then the 40 days and 40 nights were over and the Lord gave me the two stone tablets. Those tablets had the agreement on them. Well, that might have been a story that you have kind of heard of before. Moses climbing the mountain to get the Ten Commandments. But there is something in that story that links with Len that we are focusing on today. And that is the fact that he fasted. Now, Rach, fasted. did he run really, really fast? Yeah, he was fasted. No. <laughs> but Rach, why don't you tell us what fasting is? What is it? So, fasting is when you give up something. That's to put it quite simply, we mostly think about it as giving up food. Oh, yeah. And that can be quite hard. But it's not just about giving something up. There's a real meaning behind it, especially for us Christians who believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that is because every time we get really rumbly, hungry tummies, that is supposed to remind us to um to think about jesus to think about what he's done to read the bible instead of eating so when you'd normally be eating mm -hmm. actually we can open the bible and that's that's really what it's all about it's an opportunity to bring ourselves into a deeper relationship with jesus and get to know him better i see because when i if i didn't eat for a day mm -hmm. oh my gosh i think i would be so hungry and i guess when we're that hungry it yeah. kind of hurts sometimes yeah. doesn't it have you ever been so hungry it hurts or so hungry you feel sick i guess yeah. that reminds us also of our weakness as human beings mm -hmm. and our need for god yeah wow oh cool yeah but yeah, it doesn't always have to be about fasting from food because some people can't. I yeah. mean, if you're diabetic or there's another reason why you need to eat, you need to eat, don't mm -hmm. you, Rach? Yeah. So we can also, especially in this day and age, it can be a really good idea for people to fast from social media Ooh. or phones or the Xbox or PlayStation, not yeah. to cause an argument to the yeah. viewers at home. <laughs> yeah. and, and what you can do then is that I know some of my friends, they will fast from Facebook. And normally, instead of going on Facebook all the time, they'll read their Bible. Mm -hmm. And it is, again, an opportunity to have more time to spend with God. Yeah, and to remind us of our needs. Because I don't know about you, but every time you'd go to go on your phone to click on it, you'd think, oh, no, that reminds you mm -hmm. of, um, actually, to give you a moment to remind you of God. I gave up Facebook once for Lent. People did didn't you? think I could do it, but I did. did you? And I actually fasted once uh, without food for a whole day. Wow. And it was actually a really amazing time. And it is something that I want to get more into mm -hmm. uh, because it is a way that we connect with God. So it's something to maybe inspire us. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's, talk. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> I don't know. We both went, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are the last talk things? Just, yeah, just going like right, now. It's time for you to have a chat. Yeah. yeah. So that now we've explained a little bit more about that for you. Why don't you guys have a chat with those of, that you're with at home?
hoping that this has been a good first episode talking all yeah. things Lent and fasting. And yeah, it's good to learn about fasting, what yeah. it is. And actually, don't you think that we've forgotten? <gasps> it is the challenge. challenge. As we said, each week in Lent, we have got a challenge for you. So our challenge for you guys is one day this week to pick something to give up, to fast, mm -hmm. and to actually do it for the whole day. Whether it is oh. food, but if it is food, talk to your parents about it first. Yeah. Uh, or whatever it is, give it up. And in the time that you would spend using that thing or doing that thing or eating, spend that time with God instead. But that's today's challenge. <gasps> yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah, we look forward to hearing all about how it goes next week. Right, can we go and finish them donuts now? Yeah. <laughs> An opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity.